Welcome back to Extra Holiday Games. I'm Extra Holiday, and do yeah. you teach backspin? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Alright, you got your sandwich. Try to make a few yeah. approach shots. Look at where yeah. the flag is. If you're not careful, swinging for a cup on the far side of the green could cause your ball to roll off. Many greens slope upwards, meaning if the ball stops beyond the hole, you can end up putting downhill. Yeah. Putting uphill is much easier, so to make sure your ball stops where you want it to, try adding backspin. Oh, just in case, you do know how to add backspin. Yes, I was informed. Let's see how you do. Use backspin to make sure your ball stays on the target. Get the best score you can. Does super backspin count? Or does he just want me to use normal backspin? Okay. Okay, so what if I do like that. Does that work? Oh, that was perfect. Oh, nice. Oh, I did super backspin instead of regular. Uh, still worked. <laughs> okay. Uh, see, I was just I was just showing you all that I knew how to do both and I could use both effectively. Wow, this is <laughs> This one's a lot easier than the last one. Boop. Oh, that was not great, actually, that one. Oh, but it'll still go in. Nice. And then one more for the fans. Bam. Just like that. Nice. Nice. Okay. I had great announcer. That was nice. Yeah, that was... That was a lot easier than the top spin one. All right. Uh, yeah. Well, we'll put a point in control. So that'll even us out more or less. Yo, oh! Looking good, but maybe that was a little too easy. I mean, actually, maybe. High number club will send the ball higher, right? So even off a slope like this, I'll be able to clear the trees. Shots fly lower when they're hit off a downhill down slope, so you may need a high number club to clear hazards. There's no shortage of techniques, though. For example, you could try curving the ball to get by obstacles. Yeah, I've done that before. All right, you. Tailwinds carry a shot farther than you may expect. Want a short lesson on golfing with the tailwind? Okay, let's try hitting approach shots with the tailwind. You'll just need to adjust the power based on the wind, stop the ball on the target, and get the best score you can. Okay. Adjust for the tailwind. Uh, okay. So if I'm adjusting for the tailwind, then I want that much. Right? Nice. Standard spin. Not gonna do anything fancy with it. Uh, okay. Even that was a little too much. Okay. See, one thing I really, really like about just... It's a very subtle thing in this game, but one thing I really like about this game, and it's just a decision they made, is if you watch the power meter after I hit the shot, like, not only does it show you, like, which part of the flight you're in when the ball is flying, but also, when it transitions back to the next shot, it's a nice, slow fade. And what that does, at least for me, is it makes it so that I can just keep my eye on that as it fades, and I've got a pretty good idea after that where I need to put the power the next time to get the same result or a different result if I'm looking for a different result. I think that's a really cool decision they made. It's just a really small UI thing, nice shot. but it's really cool. Yeah, I'm hitting too far right now. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, so I've got Okay, I can still I can still do this. Actually, if I just get any points on the next two shots, then I'm fine. But I would like to get many points, not just any points. Uh, it's still too far, but at least it's a plus nine instead of a plus eight. Right. 
uh, all that being said about the UI and stuff, it, it's still up to me to time the thing correctly. So I don't know that timing's ever been my strong suit. So yeah. Oh, hey, I have another stroke. Uh, that was probably not going to work. Or maybe. Actually, that was perfect. Wow. Almost nice. perfect. It didn't go in, but it was very close. And I like that. Cool. That one was also relatively simple. Uh, okay, so I can upgrade either of these without missing out on much. Uh, I'm going to go with... My first instinct is to go with Stamina. A, I've already upgraded power once, and B, I actually feel like stamina is probably more important because the further you hit the ball, the longer you have to run to catch up to the ball. But I guess you're going to need to run that distance anyway. But like, I don't know, power feels like it has some very specific breakpoints, whereas stamina I feel like is always useful. So we're going to go with stamina. There's probably some way that you could optimize your stats here to just be super, super good in it anyway, but I don't know. Like hitting all the very specific breakpoints you need to hit. Very nicely done. Remember, there's more to hitting a good shot than just aiming straight ahead and swinging. Okay. Yeah. Then you can push your shot more than just forward or back, feeling up for a quick lesson on crosswinds. For now, I'll go ahead and handle the wind what what do you mean you'll handle the wind like you'll make wind <laughs> all you'll have to do is hit the ball straight are you trying to control the wind <laughs> what do you mean handle the wind just gonna put a fan all right uh, oh it looks like they've already lined me up to do this right Not doing any fancy top spin or anything right now because I don't I don't want to make things too complicated. I think that's still not enough power. Oh yeah. Oh. All right. I mean, it's plus nine at least. All right. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. What's up? What's up? Nope. I just really love that plus nine zone. I don't know what to say. Uh, yep. There we go. There's a little more power. That should be good. Yep. Oh, oh. except I didn't adjust it enough. Uh, that might have been plus ten if I had adjusted it more. It just looked like it had kept my adjustments from before, but I guess not. So close. Uh, okay, that should be just the right amount of power. And hopefully the right angle. Yes, yes, cool. Could use a little bit more. Oh, it is actually adjusting me based on, I didn't realize the wind speed was varying. Uh, oh, that's too much. Too much power. It's fine though. Probably still worth points. Mm. Alright. Uh, yeah, let's just go there. That's about the right amount of power. And hopefully enough of an adjustment for the wind. Just barely. I'll take it. We've got the points we need, so. Also, I don't see any fan here, so I don't, I really don't know how he's handling the wind. What? Nice! That being said, I, I just had the thought, like, how do, how does an actual golfer practice you know, dealing with crosswinds or, you know, the, the wind, because, like, 
feel like you can't really you can't really control that. I I, I guess you just have to play. <laughs> Strong headwind can drop a shot's distance more than you think. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'd say I I guess you just have to play to figure out how the wind affects your ball in real golf. Try to adjust your power based on the wind and swing away. Stop the ball in the target area. Okay. So what you're saying is you want me to put more power into it than I normally or than necessary, which is kind of what I'm already good at. So let's do that. Nice that should be about right. right, right. Uh, oh, wow. Well, that was really good, me. Good job. But gave it just a little bit less this time. Hopefully it's not too little. Nope, perfect. Well, it's about it's about the same spot, but like on the other side of the flag. So. Nice shot. Also, I should probably keep my eye on the wind to see if it's changing at all or if it's it, always the same. Because last time it changed, I'm pretty sure. Yes, okay. So we've got a little bit more of a wind now. Nice shot. That should do it. Dunk. Yeah, it's cool. In fact, I can even give it a little more. It might nice be too shot. much, but we'll see. Oh, that is a tap in right there. Uh, nice shot. Okay. So far, so good on the. Uh, Hitting into the wind, but then, well, but like I said, uh, kind of already have the habit of putting in too much power, so. Nice shot. Nice. So yeah, basically full power here. Nice shot. Thank you, thank you, narrator man, announcer man. I'm pretty sure is the same guy from Wii Sports. God, I love Wii Sports. But like, I feel like saying that is like saying, man, I love breathing. It's like everyone and their mother loves Wii Sports, so. Nice. <laughs> it's like, I, uh, I guess some people don't like breathing. But anyway, point is, uh, it's it was Wii Sports was very popular back in the day because everyone and their mother had a Wii, so. Okay, so I can't upgrade anything else without losing speed. Um, I think the speed stamina trade-off is maybe worth it for this level. We're gonna put speed back up next level, but for now we'll just lower our stamina a little bit. It's probably fine. Very nicely done. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Uh, what else do you guys have to say? Oh, come on. I would have made it if that bunker wasn't there. Shots taken off an upward slope naturally have a higher angle, which means they won't fly as far because your shot's distance will be cut short. You'll want to be extra careful dealing with uphill hazards. Okay. Uh, oh, there's one more. Cool. We'll do this one. Yeah. Check it out. I've cooked up a spicy little tee shot challenge for you. Want to take it on? Sure. Show me your challenge. Koopa. Alright, I hope you're ready. You've just got 10 shots to score 80 points. Alright. Uh, hmm. This seems fine. No wind. Yeah, this is this is basically This is basically easy peasy. Again, not putting top spin on it, because I don't think I need top spin. I don't think it's really gonna get me anything here. Although, alternatively, what I could do is I could just hit it as far as possible with backspin on it. Let's see how that works. Also, I'm pretty sure the driver that I'm using puts topspin on the ball anyway, so. Yeah. Maybe, maybe we can get a little fancy with it, throw a little super backspin on it. Yeah. That's probably going to be too much. <laughs> probably going to make it go right back out. Nope. Cool. 
basically just stopped it dead in its tracks. That's cool. I'm just gonna do that for the rest of the time. It's more fun to try and hit the top of the meter. And it seems pretty consistent. So, yeah. Uh oh. Oh, might not have been enough power. Changing it up on me? Yes, you are. Okay, cool. That is fine because I now know how to use top spin. So we're just gonna do that. And that should get us where we need to be. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> Too much! No! It was going so well. I put too much. Oh, wait. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. I didn't mean to. Uh, I was trying to cancel the shot. Uh, that's a bunker. Uh, that's awkward. Ah, oh, man. I don't even know if you can cancel a shot in this game. But I, I forgot to aim before I did the shot, so it's... Oh, oh that's too much. That's more than likely too much. Stop, stop, stop! Nope. Okay. Am I gonna fail because <laughs> I was playing around with the spin? I might fail because I was playing around with the spin. That might still be too much, actually. Hmm, we'll see. Uh, okay, that's fine. Yeah, we're good. Uh, wait, how many am I? Oh, I get 10, do I? Okay, well, yeah, I, yeah, I definitely lose then. But, we'll try. Well, doesn't mean we can't just get in some good practice, you know? Top spin. Cool. Alright. Fail. Alright. You know what? We're, we're gonna have to try this again. But we're gonna try it again next time. Cause uh as for this episode, that's a wrap. This time, no more games.